Welcome back to another Coasty Adventures and today, where are we going son? Gibraltar. Gibraltar! Come join us. Now, here in Gibraltar, we could be talking about the Barbary Apes or how it was seen into Britain in perpetuity in 1713, but no, we're not gonna be doing that today. Today, we are gonna be doing 14 fun facts that you may well not know about Gibraltar. Let's get started. Behind me is the Ibrahim Al Ibrahim. The basket is the southernmost mosque in Europe, and it was a gift, five million pound gift from Saudi Arabia to the people of Gibraltar. There we go. Okay, fun fact number two. This is Winston Churchill Avenue, busiest road in Gibraltar, but it also is the runway. So whenever planes land here in Gibraltar, they have to shut off this road for the planes to land. About four, four planes landing each day here from the UK. Fun fact number three, it can take up to eight hours to get through customs and immigration here, especially if you're in a car. But for today, let's see how long it's gonna take us. Fun fact number four, being an overseas territory of Britain, there are red telephone boxes and post boxes littered all over the rock. Fun fact number five, we're in the center of Gibraltar here, outside the courts where you can get married, civil registration. It, you can lodge papers one day in advance and get married here. So lots of people have got married here over the years, including John Lennon and Yoko Ono. Married right here. Fun fact number six, this is Europort behind me, home to many, many online gambling companies and due to tax reasons, just within this building alone, 10% of the people in Gibraltar work for these gambling companies. So there we go, Europort. Fun fact number seven, we're here on the east side of Gibraltar because I want to show you something behind me. Now, for thousands of years, people have lived in, Neanderthals lived in caves here. Other civilizations came, but never really settled. The Romans, the Phoenicians, the Carthaginians, were all here but never really settled and that's because they had no water source. Now before the British came the Spanish dug reservoirs into the side of the tunnels here and when the British came they also developed this catchment area which in the rainy seasons November, December, January would catch the rain and filter into reservoirs where they could use the water all year round. So there we go, water. How important is it to any settlement let alone any fortification? There are more kilometers of tunnels in Gibraltar than kilometers of road. And that is because over the last 300 years, sieges have taken place here. In fact, the greatest siege of all in the year 1779 uh, took place here. And it's still Britain's ever longest siege. Three years, seven months, and two weeks. Uh, the Spanish and the French were fighting against us and we held out for over three years. And that is because we dug tunnels into the rock and we could lay gun emplacements in there and shoot down at the enemy from there. So there we go, the great siege of Gibraltar. Fun fact number eight. Gibraltans used to push their used cars off the cliff there into the sea. They don't anymore for environmental purposes, but right behind me, we do have a car scrapyard that it's taken its place. Fun fact number nine, two James Bond films have been filmed here. You Only Live Twice and quite a long scene at the start of Timothy Dalton's greatest film, The Living Daylights. In 1787, a young British military officer uh, designed a shell with lots of lead inside that when it exploded, all the lead would go everywhere. And that man was called Henry Shrapnel. And that's where Shrapnel gets its name. Fun fact number 11, Gibraltar is really hilly to walk up. No, that's not the fact. It is this building behind me. This is the ancient war fort from the year 711. It was in that year that Berber troops from North Africa under their leader Tariq Ibn Zayed landed at the foot of the rock, setting the Muslim conquest of Iberia into action. And the modern name Gibraltar is actually a derivation of the older name Jebel Tariq, which means Tariq Mountain. 
Fun fact number 12. Now, I see this. Here, it's a cradle of history. And that's right, because on the other side of the rock, there are caves, which Neanderthals uh, painted on the cave walls, thought to be about 60, 70,000 years old. So people were living here as far back as 70,000 years ago, if not more. Gibraltar has been a key place for many different civilizations over the years. Fun fact, number 13. This place has got more batteries than PC World. No, not those sorts of batteries. These sorts of batteries with giant guns facing out over to the straits. And that is right on the other side. So, more batteries wherever you look, all around, in the rocks, right up, right around, right down near the sea, you can see tons and tons of batteries. There's one right underneath that lighthouse. And one final fact as we leave the rock behind and we've, we're back in Spain is that actually it took about 30 seconds passport control both sides so 